Modern art is rubbish. Renaissance art is where it's at. That said, here's a masterpiece taken in 2016 that could be painted on the roof of any church. Internet art history. Welcome to Manchester 2016, New Year's Eve, and there's a lot of sights to behold here. This is the most English photograph ever taken in history. So first I want to focus on this little fella here who's getting arrested by the police for reasons unknown. Now I want to posit the theory that he's getting arrested for something very inconsequential, like he, he yelled the word twat too loud near a police officer. He's sort of choking and gone very pink, which is the most humiliating way to get arrested that is possible. There's a reason that dads tell soft lads like me to punch people in the throat if you ever get in a fight. It's because not being able to breathe is very, very humiliating. And that's what's happening to this lad here. Then we have this lady who, at first glance, you might assume is this lad's girlfriend or wife, but I have a different theory. I think what's happened here is she doesn't know him at all. She's just taken two steps out of her night just to go and berate him for getting arrested. If you zoom in on her mouth and look at the shape of it, it's completely primed to say, you stupid fucking bastard. Now these girls have had a good night out and you can tell that for three reasons. One, none of them wearing coats, which in the North is basically tradition. Two, Two of them are eating chips, which is the only way to finish a night out like this. And three, zero of them are crying, which is basically a miracle on New Year's Eve. The only possible stick in the mud is this lad in a gilet who's trying to chat them up with proper, it's the end of the night and you're the only ones who are left energy. And now they're all gonna fob him off, go home in taxis, get into bed without taking their mascara off, and then eat a whole pizza in bed tomorrow morning while their mum brings them tea. Now these boys have absolutely fucked it. You can tell that because there's a whole fight going on in the front of this picture that they're not getting involved in at all. And that's because they're tired. They thought they'd come out and pull tonight on New Year's Eve. They were gonna get off with some of those girls eating chips over there. They were gonna take one home and they both WhatsApp each other the next morning to say how well they shagged them. And instead, they're going home with each other absolutely miserable about it. What an absolutely crap New Year. Now my theory is that this lady is the only sober woman in the shot. If you consider the fact that she's got her coat tucked around her, she's on very sensible heels, she seems to be shouting fuck off at the cameraman, and she's walking through this absolute carnage around her like it's nothing. That suggests to me that she has the energy of a barmaid who's just done a 10 hour New Year's Eve shift. Absolutely can't be asked with people getting arrested, people pissing and vomiting, and people queuing up for taxis in silence. She's had enough. And then we have this cherub, the angel who ties the whole masterpiece together. He's entirely hairless across his body, absolutely no pubes to speak of at all. He's more relaxed here than I've been in like a bubble bath drinking a whiskey. He's more relaxed here lying down on the drizzly cobbles of a Manchester street on New Year's Eve than I think I've been in my entire life. And that's the real spirit of Englishness and New Year's Eve and street fighting and drunkenness. That's art. Internet art history. <laughs>